All right, it's time for the moment that everybody's been waiting for. What is going to happen this upcoming hurricane season? Well, first, a caveat. It's early, right? It's tough to figure out exactly what's going to happen two, three, four, five months from now, but we can get a clue when we look at the early indicators. And one thing we hope is that it's nothing like last season. And there's a, a good reason to think that it's possible that it's not going to be as active, and I'll show you why. Take a look at the Atlantic last May in the main development region. It was on fire, record territory. You can see all those red. But look at the absence of reds this May, indicating that it's not as warm in the Atlantic. And this tells the same story. This was the last year and how that line is off the charts for 2024. But notice how 2025 is much closer to average in the Atlantic. Of course, the energy for storms comes from warm water. So if it's cooler, well, there's a little bit less energy that's available. Let's look at the Pacific because this is another area where we look at a key ingredient. Is there an El Nino? Is there a La Nina or is it neutral? Well, right now it is neutral. It's neither warm nor cool. And usually during neutral years, we tend to see slightly elevated activity in the Atlantic. And that is the forecast from both NOAA and CSU, forecasting slightly above average numbers. The average number of tropical storms is 14. You can see how NOAA is above average and CSU is also above average. Of course, we can't tell you exactly where the storms are going to go, so we tell you to be prepared every year just in case a storm hits us. Just after Hurricane Milton, News Channel 8's Beth Rousseau was in the right place at the right time. She and photojournalist Charles Miller were covering inland flooding in Lakeland when our lights caught the attention of Amber Henry. She and her four children were trapped in a flooded house. Beth summoned a Jeep to provide some light and then helped Amber and the children through the water. Amber told us they were in a desperate situation. When it got up all the way up the window, it caught up the window and it started coming in the house from the window and the refrigerator started floating. I turned out the power. Me and my children hopped on the oven. And once we hopped on the oven, I called my mom and told my mom, I think me and my children are about to drown to death. How are you? I'm okay, I'm trying to hold up. Days later, Beth reunited with Amber, who is staying with friends and family members and putting her life back together.